Hey, one time, Keith Thurman, he said he didn't watch Crawford last fight. He said Crawford ain't did H at 147. Um, 147 for Crawford, basically, you know, he has to prove himself. But he did state that he would love to fight Conor McGregor, just like Crawford, in the UFC. Oh, my God. Forget, forget uh, boxing. Are we, we talking about this? That's what he's talking about. He I said he want, one time nah, want to try the UFC just one time against Conor McGregor. I don't now, know. Now, why is he saying all of that? Uh, he said he 35 pounds. You, 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 you kind of surprised. I didn't know we were going to talk about this. He said you he 35 pounds overweight, too. So what's man, your take I don't, on, I don't, on I don't, that? I don't want to hear anything Keith talks about right now. Come on, man. That's my man, though. You can't do him like that. He don't get no he love? For, just because he lost for, to Pac-Man, you're going to no, do him dirty like no, that? No, it's, it's fine. But just say, hey, I, <laughs> I need to get back in the ring. I need to get back in shape. And I, I need to fight uh, top-level welterweight. But when you are talking about this BS with Conor McGregor, like Conor McGregor um, lost his last boxing match. Um, he is in the MMA world. You're not in the MMA world. You're trying to make some easy money uh, off of what? What? What's going on? But one yeah. thing I want to say, um, and we'll we'll stay on this topic. But I want to give a shout out to uh, Wake Up, Mister Fresh Goggles. He said, uh, "We all know Wilder boxing is not easy on the eyes." <laughs> what is that? <laughs> he said, "We all know that Wilder's boxing is not easy on the eyes." So that means oh. like when you watch it, it's just is you know it's not that aesthetically yeah. pleasing. I mean, as long as you get the job done, as long as it you is. pay the picture. But it was just a funny day. statement. But back to the point is, uh, man, I, I think that's just some BS. Yeah. Um, so, Thurman, so yeah. And, so how he does in the UFC? Because Crawford wanted to do the same thing. Now Crawford does oh have an MMA background. God. You know what I'm saying? Does he? No, no, no. I'm saying he wrestles and stuff in high school. From what I heard, I'm just saying. Like, I think he gets his face kicked off. I, I don't. I don't like this crossover. There are different sports. I'm sorry. Like, just because they're striking and they're, this is a totally different sport. The 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 footwork is different. The round. It is a. There is some crossover in there, but. A boxer that has no experience in MMA has no business trying to go over there. And I think that you should, when you're supposed to be a top flight world to weight, you should be worried about these killers that's right here. To me, it seems like your focus isn't there and that you don't really want any of that smoke that's at 147. Uh, it, it especially is the it when, is the when, when, when you're trying to downplay Crawford, who is my top pound for pound fighter. So instead of acknowledging him, and stuff, you talking about, oh, I want to go fight this this guy who got stopped by a 40-something-year-old Floyd Mayweather, his last boxing. Are you, are you, I guess you want to get in, in the, the MMA um, cage with him, but, oh, yeah. my goodness. So, now, now, hold go on. Ahead. So, I'll, so I'll let you. what I'm saying is this. So, um, you know, Carissa Shield want to do the same. She already trained for MMA, but I do get where you're coming from. When you're in a sport and you have, you're in a division that's the deepest division in boxing. You could, you could become a superstar. You could become a megastar if you come out of this division alive, meaning with your O at least, or at least with you winning a couple of those, couple of those fights, which he already did. But the big fights that the Errol Spence, the Terrence Crawford over the world, he already lost the Manny Pacquiao fight. You know, he had an O and already went and went, you know, to Manny Pacquiao. He wasn't afraid to let it go, but he didn't fight Errol Spence when he had it. Now, is he going to fight Errol Spence? Is he going to fight Terrence is the better question. Why are you focusing on a sport? Like I said, like you said, it's not your sport. It's not what you do best. When you have, like some fighters like Andre Ward, he said not everybody could be a superstar because Mayweather had the names around his division. Um, Keith Thurman has yeah. the names. Exactly. So he said when he came to the division, don't duck me, son. Yeah. So... If he kept the same energy and for the best, and, and 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 of course, you know, you have to be a family man at the end of the day, but your focus should be boxing when you're a fighter. And I don't think that's what it is for him. However, he's coming off a of surgery. According to him, he's just, he's his left hand, he broke it in the Pacquiao fight. What a uh, surprise. So, uh, wow, Keith Thurman hurt? Yeah, right man, hand, left hand, like, one of the two. He's so durable. Yeah. I, never, I never hear about Keith Thurman hurt. For real. <laughs> hey, I got my man on the phone. Today, I appreciate every single one of my keys. Comment below who you thought won the debate. Um, me, Professor Nim, the caller, because I'm I'm undefeated. I'm what Canelo want to be. It's pound for pound number one on split decision when it comes to debate.
That being said, I appreciate all my keys. You know, we're going to put the guns down and the gloves up. Shout out to Rig India for winning by split decision, becoming a two-time world champion at two different weight divisions. The Boogeyman. Um, shout out to <laughs> Professor Nim. 3K, uh, baby. And like I said, everybody in the chat, subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't. And listen to these casual fans um, or a.k.a. decafs, dumbass casual fans, because the casual fan ain't no disrespect. If you're a casual fan and you want to be a hardcore, all you have to do is attend the IQ University every Sunday live on Split Decision. And hopefully yeah, one day y'all will graduate from the IQ University. And just like Dante always say, man, we speak the truth and nothing but the truth. We offer the book of the truth at, on Split Decision. So if you hate to hear the truth, man, you're going to hurt your feelings listening to us and your eardrum might bust. So like I said, man, I appreciate every single one of my IQs. Take us out, Professor Nam, while I keep it rolling.